Welcome back to Top 4 Repairs. If your vehicle is stuck in open loop and it won't go into closed loop when the engine is warmed up, I'm going to tell you guys the reason why. So your vehicle should switch from open loop to closed loop when the engine is warmed up. If it does not go into closed loop, then you're going to notice rough idle, especially when the engine is warmed up. Now exactly what is open loop? Open loop is when you start your vehicle at cold start and the engine control module or the powertrain control module uses input from the MAP sensor, it uses input from the mass airflow sensor, it uses input from the coolant temperature sensor, and it uses input from the intake air temperature sensor. So when your engine is warming up, the engine control module or the powertrain control module, which is your computer, it is going to ignore the upstream oxygen sensor on bank one and bank two. The oxygen sensor is unreliable, especially at cold start, because the oxygen sensor needs to reach to about 600 degrees and more for the oxygen sensor to start to produce voltage signal. That is why the engine control module or the powertrain control module ignore the upstream oxygen sensor when the engine is warming up. Once the oxygen sensor reaches 600 degrees or more Fahrenheit, the engine control module or the powertrain control module will start to use the uh, O2 sensor to adjust air and fuel ratio. This will make the engine run much more efficient. What are the criteria for your vehicle to switch from open loop to closed loop? There are three criteria. Number one is the upstream oxygen sensor on, on uh, bank one and bank two must be working. If you have a phallic oxygen sensor on bank one or bank two on the upstream side, then your vehicle is not going to go into closed loop. The second criteria is that the coolant temperature sensor must see 105 degrees in the cooling system. If your vehicle is running cold for some reason, let's just say you have a stuck open thermostat, and the coolant temperature sensor do not read higher than above 105 degrees, your vehicle will be stuck in open loop. The third criteria is going to be time. This is going to be different for every different manufacturer. It might take 30 seconds, it might take a minute, it might take two minutes. One sensor could cause your vehicle to stay in open loop. And the number one sensor that caused this issue is going to be the upstream oxygen sensor. And you fix this issue, you might actually fix the problem. The next few sensors that can cause open loop is going to be the sensor. It's going to be the MAP sensor, the mass airflow sensor, the coolant temperature sensor, and, in, and the intake air temperature sensor. If one of these sensors fell, it can also cause your vehicle to be stuck in open loop. In addition, if you have a failing engine control module, obviously it's going to cause a lot of electrical issue. So if your vehicle never go into closed loop when you fix all this issue, you might have a bad engine control module. So that is how you fix a vehicle that is stuck in open loop. I hope you found this information informative. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.